I said, this is boy crazy. Oh my Girl. god, Dipper! Several times cray cray! Never do that again. <laughs> that one. I don't care what Dipper goes to Taco Bell is like now. Nothing's Doug, gonna out creep that. But Doug, <laughs> this episode had Lance fucking bass. <laughs> the Lance Bass. It clearly has a really good sense is of humor. Is it Lance Bass or Bass? Doesn't matter. Um, it does to him. Uh, this, <laughs> I doubt it even matters to him. He's like, girl, I don't care. You know what? He was cloned. I mean, he grew <laughs> out of a tank, so. Uh, I'm really shocked Disney did this episode, really. Considering uh, their propensity for creating For Jonas Brothers bands. and stuff. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's why it's... I would expect it from something like South Park, who doesn't have to give a fuck, but <laughs> Disney. Uh, the only thing I can figure is that they were obviously more satirizing, like, Sync and uh, Backstreet Boys and stuff, so maybe they're just like, yeah, no, no, that's what it is, that's what it is, and I don't know, or maybe Disney just has a really good sense of humor, I don't know, but this is an episode where uh, uh, Mabel and her girlfriends go to see this band called uh, Several Times. Uh, like I said, they're in that boy's world, uh, whatever that was, the Mabel magazine. Mabel girl. Yeah. And, <laughs> Dang uh, girl. And it turns out that they actually are, as all of us thought, cloned and manufactured and so on and so forth. Uh, Mabel discovers it, frees them, Keeps them locked away, kind of like E.T. Uh, teaches them about the world because they've never been in the world. She's the one who puts pizza in a trough. <laughs> it stops them from Honestly, choking Honestly, there's a lot dispensers. of lines I remember from this one just because I thought them making fun of the boy band was so funny and their inability to do the simplest of things. Well, and I She's like the they... one who changes our newspaper. <laughs> it's like, oh, God. And they all have, like, the same eyes, too, which I like. Yeah. The sort of big bug blue, uh, blue eyes. Um... And she gets obsessed, wants to keep them, finally realizes it's not the right thing to do, lets them go. Uh, and then there's a subplot going on with um, uh, Dipper trying to uh, break up Wendy and Robbie for a good reason, because he's been using this CD that has a subliminal message. Uh, that I'm almost wondering if there's some... I mean, like, the case was some sort of weird supernatural case, or maybe that's just, like, his design, but I don't think he's talented enough to have a CD case like that, so... I'm wondering where he got it from. Uh, oh, the, ne the Necronomicon? Yeah, uh, so the Necronomicon I kind of want case. that. I fucking yeah. hate that character, and I kind of <laughs> want that. Um, so, they're officially broken up, which is like, thank Yay! God. I, I think... I want to say he comes back like in one more episode, I think, and it's very minor. Hooray! Yeah, so I'm very, I hate that character. It's never likable. I'm so glad I they finally do it realized like something uh, watching the previous episode. Uh, or maybe it was the one before that. Uh, maybe the lifeguard episode, but. I actually don't mind Wendy when she's away from her frickin' friends. Yeah. The character's fine when, like, the character's well, away from really Robbie, grown especially. Like, the characters yeah. I don't even mind that much. It's more I just away like from Robbie. I don't even like her friends that much, but, mm -hmm. like, I, yeah, like, I don't mind the characters. Whenever he shows up or whenever her friends show up, like, that's when they kind of annoy me. Like, but mm -hmm. alone, she's fine. Yeah, no, and, and she's got some good moments, especially in the second season. Um, but, uh... Yeah, so there's a subliminal message that they try to um, uh, break away, you know, uh, her and him, and get away from that scumbag. And then Dipper immediately tries to go in for <laughs> the move-in, which is, uh, you know, she's like, what the hell's wrong with you? And runs away, which is like, yeah, that, that was pretty douchey, Dipper. Um, but still understandable for that age. It's like, well, he's gone now, naturally, you want me, right? Because <laughs> you're... Like, you men are so selfish. And I'm just like, well, he's 12. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it, again, it's a good lesson for him to learn and stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, and I realized there was no, like, she doesn't come back and is like, you know, hey, let's talk or anything. Like, it does sort no, of they leave left that open. Then, no, yeah, yeah, which I like. And just Dan... Packing up more, for the apocalypse. More Grunkle Stan moments. Finally, a legitimate reason to punch a teenager. <laughs> it's apocalyptic. <laughs> I think that was my favorite. Um, lousy, beautiful men eating out of my trash. Wait, what? Um, <laughs> Mabel kicks the boy band out. And then, like, they run, they run away like dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and the best line in all that is as soon as they run away and they're feeling good, they're like, they won't they last, won't last a, week. a week. <laughs> Um, oh. so, yeah, the only other thing I noticed outside the CD was the, um, I'm wondering if that goat, I know it sounds weird, but I'm wondering if that goat plays a part in anything, because it shows up in every episode, well, okay, running gag, its eyes are very strange, they're like alien eyes, and I'm really wondering if somewhere, like, they're gonna do something with that, hmm. um, and, and it eats license plates, why would it eat a license plate, um, but... 
yeah, so it's, uh, it, like I said, I love the mocking of the whole boy band thing. Um, especially, like I said, with that's Disney doing this. This was one that, uh, uh, you know, my wife was working on something when I put this on, and she just glanced down, and she's like, Disney make this? Like, really? Don't they have, like, the Jonas Brothers and stuff? I was like, yeah. It's, whatever. It's Who like, I'm not complaining. hypocrisy? This show's making us cash! <laughs> so, um... Again, Shut I, up! I, I, again, you I, work for Disney, too, you big fucking hypocrite! <laughs> well, obviously, they have a good sense of humor now, so... <laughs> no, we don't! They just make us money! Don't give me more money! <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, like I said, I... I'm just so impressed that they're just like, yeah, we're, we're, we're fine with this. Go for it. It's, it's, it's funny. It's fine. So, um, yeah, definitely give them a lot of credit for that. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a good episode. It's got a lot of funny, a lot of funny lines and, uh, can't think of too much else. Um, yeah, it's just funny. You got anything? I, I think I mentioned most of the things I like. So the boy bands in particular were just hilarious yeah um, uncle uh grunkle stan's spit take too let me just sip this here for the spit take yeah. <laughs> hey that wasn't spit worthy <laughs> um yeah no just very amusing it's tight girl it's tight dang oh and kissing the tree Dang, girl. Mm, girl. Oh, I, I know what I forgot. Uh, the message at the end, I usually start off with that. Uh, apparently it says, are you happy now, Ariel? Which is like, what? Apparently Ariel is the name of the sister of the creator, but that's still weird. So the only thing I can figure is maybe, maybe she liked boy bands. That was my guess. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, or or hated boy bands. Or hated boy yeah, it could be either one, really. Yeah, so maybe she just wanted an episode like, you know, will you make fun of those boy bands for God's sake? Um either in a positive way or negative way, I don't know. But uh maybe that's part of it too, is that even though they're pretty dumb, they're still so naive and innocent, like maybe that's sort of how they get away with it too. Because it doesn't seem like overly mean-spirited it seems more like you know they just don't know any better they're like I, little kids i guess honestly it was implying that they're basically a bunch of mindless gerbils like seems mean-spirited to me but well okay so you hate gerbils that's what you're saying who doesn't i'm learning a lot about you today <laughs> <laughs>